Hey Gemini, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for October 21st through the 24th. Any information you need, Gemini, you can find it in the description box down below. It is Sunday where I am, so I'm going to do a same day special for Sunday. All right, it's three questions. It's 22, 22. You get it within 24 hours. All the details are down below in the description box. Now, this does close out at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, so that is 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, October 20th, okay? So, everything is down below. We're going to go Ahead and start here for you, Gemini. Let's see, what we got for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini 21st through the 24th. What is that there? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Great. That's strange energy for Wednesday. Let's see, it's going. And it's your only major arcana. It's in the reverse position. Wow, that's super weird. The high priestess is reversed on the bottom, and the hair fonts reverse. Uh, you know, on Wednesday's energy. And this, for those of you who don't know, these are like counterparts. Um, you know, because the hair font's like the high priest, and then we got the high priestess here. So something might be coming out on Wednesday. Um, we'll see what's happening, though. Ten of Wands is showing up for Monday, and it's in the reverse position. So I feel like there's some sort of burden that you're able to drop on Monday, okay? So it could be like something's been worrying you, concerning you, weighing on you pretty heavily. I feel like you're able to let it go on Monday. So, um... Tuesday, you've got the Eight of Wands. Could be some sort of communication coming in. Could just be a lot of fast movement, travel. Um, you know, this could be a lot of phone calls back and forth, emails back and forth. Some of you, this could involve another, or uh, another. This could involve a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the uh, hair font in the reverse position for Wednesday, like I said. I think something could come out here or there's something that's like unpredictable you know like because the hair front upright can be a card of tradition the way things have always been done so it's like the way that you've expected things to go or the way that things have gone you know up until now are changing all of a sudden so we'll see what's happening there you got the three of cups showing up for thursday's energy somebody here might have mercury in sagittarius or mercury in cancer but that three of cups energy for thursday you could be getting together with friends loved ones family whatever the case may be here celebrating something um this can sometimes represent a reunion or a coming together of some sort you know knight of cups is showing up for that ten of wands what else do we have for that ten of wands that's pisces energy by the way the knight of cups what else do we have for that ten of wands eight of cups okay this could be an apology of some sort for some of you here, okay? This may have to do with some kind of abandonment. Like somebody left you hanging in a situation. They're like, I'm so sorry about that, you know? And I feel like they're trying to make something up to you. You know, for others of you, I do think that this could be a new vision that you have. You know, maybe there's been like a big worry that you've had here. And I think you could finally be dropping that because you're like, you know what? I'm just going to go towards this thing now. Because Knight of Cups can be a dreamer. So I feel like there's something here, like a, a visionary. And I do think think that you have like a new like a vision in mind for something that you want here you're like this is obviously not working so i'm gonna head towards this right this could have to do with the job but i feel like you do like that ten of wands is only showing up there for those of you who have something to replace this you know because you're able to drop this burden and head towards something else towards your new vision here right so you have something to go towards before you're able to drop that burden and we have this eight of wands showing up here 333 on the camera for tuesday's energy so let's see what's going on with that what's going on with the eight of wands for tuesday's energy here for gemini the Empress. Okay. Taurus and Libra energy. So like that's a card of growth, abundance, fertility, like real nurturing energy. What else is going on with that? Six of Swords. More like more cards of movement. Some of you could be looking into a move on Tuesday. Um, could just be a busy day. Lots of travel or lots of running errands, lots of communication going on here. I feel like there is something you're trying to take care of. You know, for those of you who don't know, like a lot of readers will read the Empress as like a mother um, and or, you know, like pregnancy, like really maternal energy. And when it comes to that, it's because it can be a card of like somebody who's very nurturing, right? So I do feel like there's something you're trying to take care of on Tuesday. It's like a real busy energy, you know? And then we have the air font in the reverse position showing up for Wednesday. What is happening with that? What is happening with this here? Two of Swords in the reverse position. Somebody's opening up to you here. Um, somebody might have their Moon in Libra, but you don't necessarily have to. You got that Nine of Cups energy. I feel like somebody has been kind of cold towards you, and that energy is changing. Like they're more gentle, they're warmer. You know, that's what the Nine of Cups is about. 
right? More possibly more supportive. There's someone in your energy here, and this may not be happening um, on Wednesday for all of you, but uh, because we have that high priestess in the reverse position on the bottom of the deck in the beginning, but I do feel like it is around Wednesday, the 23rd. You know, something strange is happening, and I feel like it's going to be the strangest thing to you because upright. Look, she's got the arms crossed over the chest there, over the heart space, like. I feel like there's going to be a decision made to do things differently by someone in your circle. Someone, maybe not in your circle directly, but like who you have to be around pretty much. Like this could be someone in the workplace who is usually snippy with you and they're suddenly being nice. This could be somebody that you had a connection with in the past who was just really cold and short with you. And now they're messaging you like, how are you doing? I want to hear about this. I want to hear about that. Right? It could be something like that going on here. It's just very strange. It's the strangest thing. But, you know, um, not sure how you'll react or respond to that, Gemini. We have the Three of Cups showing up for Thursday. What's going on with that? I feel like somebody's going to reveal something to you around the 23rd, though. You're going to be like, that's weird that they're telling me that. What's going on with the Three of Cups for Thursday for Gemini? We got Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. There's something here that I feel you've been kind of waiting on. Yeah, there's been some obstacles with whatever this is. Uh, you have the Seven of Wands. Some of you may block a fire sign here or a water sign on Thursday. But um, you have the Seven of Wands. You have the Three of Wands. Somebody's trying to send something to you. Somebody's trying to send something to you. I feel like you're not wanting to hear that uh, here on Thursday. But there's another energy here that I feel you are, you know, wanting to hear from here. You got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. Um, you know, you're no longer waiting on something here. It's moving a lot quicker is the energy that I get from this. You know, there's something here that's moving fast. And then there's something that's moving slow that you're letting go of. You know, it's that kind of vibe here. Two of Cups, possibly a face-to-face -face meeting, um, you know, or a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. That Three of Cups energy, that Three of Wands, a lot of communication, collaboration, like working together. Together, uh, to solve something here or to talk about something get it moving versus like some sort of energy that you were dealing with that was moving way too slowly uh, not giving what it said it was going to give so that is what I'm getting here Gemini I hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be don't forget that I do have that same day Sunday special open it's three questions it's 22 22 um, and you get it within 24 hours this does close tonight though okay October 20th at 11 59 p.m. Eastern time all right but Gemini, all that's down below. If this is where we part, I want to thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.